Hello Power Users, my name is Zbigniew Pułkowski and today we will look deeply into connection references and problems with those connection references. Specifically, what's happening when connection reference, when you move solution is missing dependency. So we will, I will show you some couple of tricks, tips and tricks what you can do and how you can avoid the most of the problems of connection references. Yes, let's start without further ado. Okay, so I have, uh, which is using connection reference. I've already created this flow. It's, let's go check it. Oh, it's open here. And in this flow, I have connection reference. I have connection reference here, Microsoft Dataverse admin, blah, blah, blah. That's my test admin. So based on this connection reference, and based on this flow, I want this solution, all solution, moved to another environment. This solution is called solution test tree. When you click export this solution, it has only a flow and a Dataverse table. It should be moved to another environment. First of all, it will be downloaded as a zip file, and then you can import it to other environment. So here I have another environment. Let's close the panel, let's delete it. And we will go with the import. Let's browse it. And I have already created the file with the flow and with data table, so we won't waste time on this on this uh, video. And let's click on it. Click next. And you can see that import already failed due to missing dependency to so that's true. Let's go to these dependencies. Admin core, uh, COE core, Dataverse connection reference is missing. Course is missing. I did not add it to my solution. Yeah, let's close the panel. Let's go back to our, our source environment. And first of the bat, I will try to show you what we can do here. In our solution, we have have files with the workflows, with the customization, and with the solution XML type. You can open it using appropriate opener. Okay. Jeez. Uh, as you can see, we have our XML file here. And in this XML file, you can see your missing dependency. So you don't need time to try to import your solution to another environment to check that your connection references is missing something. You can see this already here. So what we have here, we have connection references and we can see that our display name and our connection reference logical name is missing here. We already know that we are missing uh, our connection reference. If we, if we go to the destination environment, let me try to import this again. Sorry, I shouldn't be closing the window. Next, show dependencies in here. We are seeing only the only our display name. So based on this display name in the object, we can also see we can also see that the connection reference here is showing quote, quote, display name, but it's also, it's not a display name. This is the logical name. And this is important because in many situations, we will have the same connection references, which will be the same. 
but they will they will have same names, but they will differ only the the difference between themselves only by create the creator. So if I create the uh, dependence, the co connection reference, and someone else could create the connection reference, which will sound exactly the same, we still have the difference of our creator. So how can you check it? And how, and how can you add the connection reference in the end? You can use simple solution, but simple solution has a problem. It doesn't work reliably all the times. It works in 90% of situation. I do not know why it's not working all the time. But simple solution is to add the required components. We successfully added the components. This is the connection reference. I believe this is the proper connection reference. But how to check it? Some, uh, one time I uh, I had the wrong connection reference added. And many of the times when I click on, on this icon, the required component is not added at all. Don't ask me, you may have the same problem. If the solution uh, import was successful, then great. But if not, stay with me. Uh, I've got you covered. So connection reference will also be the table in your dataverse, in your source environment. And it's easy to check this. Let's go out from default view. Let's go to the all. Let's find connection references. And in the table, we can check this reference on two different levels. First of all, we can check it in the view here. Okay, you can have probably two options. First of all, you can this can be this view can be locked to manageable non-customizable table, so it cannot be edited. Of course, you won't be able to edit view, but in many cases you would for, uh, you can uh, edit the view. Let's not go into the details, but if you can, you can just add a column here to the view. And uh, the column you will need to add would be logical name, and in this logical name you can check it. But also, you can go to the data. And in the data, you can, from uh, active connection reference, go to all columns. We would need to find connection reference logical name. And where we have this name, we had this name with, did I close the window again? I'm such a noob sometimes. Okay, so import failed due to missing dependencies. We will go to show those dependencies, go to the object, and we see here the display name. Display name, which is logical name. Kudos to you, Microsoft. Let's go check it. Here we are. We have found logical name. And based on this logical name, we can edit the record. change this display name to the um, to the name we would like to have save the changes okay okay now we can Go back, we have the connection reference called X. We go back to our solution. X is there. So we, if it won't be there and we would like to, because we have 
problems with adding uh, required components, then you can remove this from solution. And when adds, trying to add a new connection reference, please tell me, tell me why this cannot be in the alphabetical mode or any kind of sorting. It's such a mess. We know that we need this, uh, this connection reference. So if you have many connection references with the same name and you want to uh, want to choose the specific one, if it's yours, of course, don't change anyone else's data or without the agreement, uh, you just can change the name and then we will know that this is the so connection reference we would like to use. This is how it is. Uh, other option would be to um, to change the st status. If you've got the options with the same status, you can change the status temporarily, see which connection reference it was, and then upload your connection reference. So, so summarize. Let's summarize. First of all, you don't need to you don't need to import to to your destination environment. You can check your dependencies here, and it's true not only to uh, for connection references, but let's be cautious here because sometimes uh, missing dependency here won't be visible on your uh, on your destination environment. Why is that? Most probably, you already have your missing dependencies on your solution or on your destination environment, and here you don't have it. So, if you have it on destination environment, it won't trigger the the validation. But if you are not sure, you can always add it here. This this will be based on your your needs. But this is a neat trick, which can save your, your time and uh, stress. You, are, you can see here that you are missing something. Then you can, of course, add required components. If it doesn't work, and trust me, it won't work 100% of the time, then you go to the Dataverse tables, connection references, you check there. If the, you have connect, two connection references or more with the same name, you just can swap the name or you can uh, change the status and then add the, the the proper connection reference based on logical name which you sadly would need from your destination environment so in manage missing dependencies go to objects see here and just add it that's all i hope this was was uh, informative and if you learn something I know I did. So if you did, you can subscribe my channel and or press a like, why not? And you can see my other power platform, power apps, Dataverse content in my channel. I'm posting really a lot of content lately with error handling with solution to common problems I, I've already occurred in the past or, or my colleagues uh, uh, had. So if I find the solution, I just post it here for everyone to, to see. So have a great day, night, or wherever you are, wherever you are, just peace. Zbigniew Kowski out. See you.